Hey guys, this is Mike. Hopefully this is recording this time. I have done this twice and had no volume. So this is my entry for Friday Fright um, challenge. This is a little challenge that the Horror Freak 85 puts together every week. Um, he gives us a topic and we review a movie dealing with that topic. This week it is Massacre, or was a uh, high school um, themed basically so any horror movie that was set in high school one of my all-time favorites is massacre at central high this movie does not have a blu-ray or dvd release at this point however the makers of this movie um and then uh some of their collaborators one of one of which is a friend of mine reached out to me about two years ago maybe um, because uh, he knew that I had a pristine copy of this movie on VHS. By pristine, I mean never opened, um, never sat out in the heat or any of that sort of stuff, a very well-protected movie. So um, they borrowed that, and they are actually trying uh, converting it into a VHS, or uh, into a DVD or Blu-ray, maybe both. Um, haven't really heard a lot from James as far as what it is that they are doing, but it's going to be good. I can't wait. So this movie was released back in 1976. Uh, it is directed by Rene Dalder, Dalder, and its star, the main star of this movie, uh, the character's name is David, but it is Daryl Mowry, Mowry, which he hasn't done a whole lot since this movie, but he was a good character. It also stars Kimberly Beck as Teresa. Robert Carradine um, is one of the, I believe he's one of the police officers. No, he's Spoonie. I'm sorry. He's one of the kids. Spoonie, he's a geeky kid. And then Andrew Stevens, who was like one of the studs back then, uh, Connie Stevens' son. Um, he uh, plays Mark. And we also have a couple other actors that have had a bit of a career. Uh, Lanny O'Grady, who starred in Eight is Enough as the oldest sister. Um, and we also have Steve Bond, who um, is known for a um, long stint on General Hospital, as, where, as well as some other things. He's actually done a couple of horror movies, I believe. And he was a Playgirl Centerfold. Just a little fact there. Um, so this movie was definitely low budget, uh, but it's really a very fun movie. Um, and really, there are no adults in this movie. I, I mean, you see, you kind of see teachers, but you don't, there's not actually like a character. So, um, yeah, it's a fun movie. Uh, basically, the setting is David is new to the school. Uh, he meets a former friend named Mark, who is played by Andrew Stevens, and Mark has a girlfriend named Teresa, who David takes an instant liking to. Um, and then you have three bullies. You have Bruce, played by Ray Underwood. You have Craig, played by Steve Bond. And you have Paul, played by D Damon Douglas. And these bullies are awful. Um, they pick on uh, David Car Carradine's character, um, he, uh, was it, is it David Carradine? No. Robert Carradine. Um, they pick on his character. His character's name is Spoonie. He's real scrawny. Uh, there's an overweight kid. And David is seeing all this, um, cause, cause Mark tells him, hey, you know, if, if you just get along with these three guys, if you just kind of hang on our side, uh, your life can be like country club. Problem is, David's too compassionate for that. So he sees them picking on Spoonie, um, an overweight kid named Oscar, a deaf kid named Arthur, and Rodney, who is poor. Uh, and then, you know, he kind of keeps his mouth shut, but then he walks in on um, the bullies trying to rape two girls, the Lanny O'Grady character and another um, girl um, trying to rape them in a classroom. Um... So Lanny O'Grady is Jane, and Cheryl Smith plays Mary. Uh, and needless to say, David kind of loses it, goes off. Um, so the guys 
go up to, to uh, Mark and say, hey, you better tell David to mind his own business or he's going to pay. And, of course, David does not do that. Uh, the bullies take action, uh, which ends up crippling David. And when David gets out of the hospital, he's mad, and he goes after the bullies. So some interesting deaths during this particular section. Because not the most gory, but um, definitely fun. And then what happens, the craziest thing, after the bullies are gone, at first the kids are all really nice to each other at the school and supportive. Um, but then Spoonie, Oscar, Arthur, Rodney, Mary, and Jane all turn into jerks, and they start bullying people. So David goes after them. So, yep, yeah, lots of interesting deaths in that one. Um, of course, Mary and Jane and Spoonie are at first blamed for the carnage, but David and Teresa know the truth. So they find out that David is planning on a big kill. We're talking lots of people. And he, um, they go in and kind of use sympathy because David still likes um, the two. David or still likes Mark and Teresa a lot, and they said, if you're going to kill them, you're going to kill us because we're not leaving. Uh, so it doesn't happen. So, and there's an interesting little ending. So that is my review for Fright Friday. Uh, keep an eye out for this because I know it has been a labor of love for the people trying to make it a uh, into a Blu-ray DVD trans doing the transfer. So, and I will do a little shout out uh, video because I'm supposed to get a, a copy of not only my VHS back, but I'm also so supposed to get a copy of the actual film. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and everybody have a great Friday.